board we are. Everybody, how are you? I hope you've had a good week. I hope you've had a moment of joy in it. Coming up on the show, we've got a couple of comedians. Yes, Rob Alton. He's got the Rob Alton show up in Edinburgh Assembly Roxy, and we'll be chatting to him. And Mike Barbiglia. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but I will be finding out from him. He's an American. He's very, very funny. And he's got a show called The Old Man and the Pool. It's at the Wyndham's Theatre from September the 12th. So we'll be chatting to him about that. Alistair Petrie, he's in a brand new show for the BBC. BBC One and I play following events are a pack of lies. Is that not the greatest title ever? Also, Anne Reid, Annie Reid, the most incredible actress. She's going to be talking about season three of Sanditon. Uh, and, of course, The Sixth Commandment. And Bonnie Langford will be high-kicking into the studio. And Kajo Fall. We need to be singing that song. You know that one. You're a board. You're a board. You're a board with a double-deckers. But a laughter is what we're after. On our double-double-double-decker bus. La, 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 everybody. Yes, Kajo Foll is on at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre and Carl Milani will be joining me. It means we all get to sing that song. But before we do that, let's bing, bing, bong, bong. God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. 
praised. God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. Praise Him in the morning. God be praise Him in the noonday. Praise Him all day long. God be praised. Whether you're weak or strong. God be praised. God has been so good to me. All I can say is. God be praised. Clap your hands. Pastor Eric Thomas. God be praised. God be praised. Help me praise God Him. Come on and open up. Open up your mouth. God be hey, hey, hey. God be praised. Let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you clap those hands. Clap, 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 clap those hands. Give them all the praise. Give them all the praise. Hey, hey. God be praised. Radio London with me, Gabby Roslin. Now, coming up in the final hour, we have a trio for you. We have Alice Petrie, who is an incredible actor and a really, really lovely guy. He's going to be talking about a brand new BBC One show. The following events are a pack of lies, which has to be the greatest title of a show ever. He'll explain all about that. It starts in a few weeks here on BBC One. Also, Bonnie Langford has her one-woman show. Uh, My Favourite Leading Ladies, it's at the Pheasantry, 16th to the 18th, that's this week. Uh, So she'll be here, and so will Anne Reid. Why is she not a dame? She's incredible. What an actress, and a wonderful, wonderful woman. So the three of them are all going to be here in the final hour. Now, in that final hour, you can choose between us and football. If you'd like to stay with us, Go to BBC Sounds or stay on FM. But BBC Sounds, I know many of you listen through BBC Sounds because uh, you contact me and tell me that you do, which is very lovely. Uh, but you can uh, listen as well, of course, on FM for BBC Radio London. And football will be on DAB. Uh, so I'm just giving you fair warning of that. Coming up after this, we're going to be speaking to our first of our two comedians today, Rob Orton, straight from Edinburgh. We'll be speaking to him.
OK, it's not such a cruel summer. Oh, I just did such a DJ link. Goodness me, Rob Orton, did I actually go to do that completely and utterly ridiculous link? Not a cruel summer for you, though, Rob Orton, up at Edinburgh. Hello, Gabby. No, no, not a cruel oh, summer for me, no. Dear, that was really poor of me, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, but how is Edinburgh? Tell me everything. It's going It's going good, thank you. Um I I got up here a couple of weeks ago and uh, yeah I've just it's just I've just been really enjoying it I've just doing my show called the Rob Orton Show um, I was looking through my messages on uh, and um, I last spoke to you in twenty twenty one at ten past twelve like it was due the exact same time weird <laughs> and just like that the three year two years ago yeah I'd yeah. no idea where they go um well you are you multi award winning um writer and comedian and it's is it wonderful to be back i was about to say it must be wonderful to be back but it it must be everyone loves it yeah i feel like this year especially it really is at full tilt i did it last year and um Quite rightly, there was still um, some uh, people were a, a bit tense and there wasn't as many people around. But I feel that Edinburgh Festival this year is, um, it feels like it did in 2019, really. And um, yeah, I just, I just, it's just so full of life and so many people at kind of different stages in their creative journeys. And um, on the first night of the, of, uh, before we started, I met all kind of the um, people who were doing flyering um, for the, the show, and they were some of them were up here for the first ever time, and you know that mu it must be so exciting. I remember the first time I came up here, and yeah, it's just buzzing. Yeah, I'm really, really chuffed and feel yeah, and honoured and privileged to be able to do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased. So tell us about this show then. Um, this show is um, all, it's called The Rob Orton Show. It's the 10th um, <clears throat> show I've done in a series of shows that have all, all on a specific theme. And I um, started in 2012, I did a show all about the colour yellow called The Yellow Show. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I, and then I did a show all about the sky called The Sky Show, like where does the sky start, does the ground, does the sky start where the ground stops? And you know, all, it's, it's a mix of poetry and comedy, and um, and then I've been coming up. I did a show all about face. It's called the Face Show. Then water, then sleeping, then hair, then time, then talking, and it's always something like that. And now it's the tenth one, so I'm doing a show all about me called the Rob Bolton Show. I've kind of done it the wrong way around. I should have maybe done this one first. And then no, when, I was, I, when, no, I, when, I, when I was scraping no. the barrel, I do a show all about the colour yellow. No, no. <laughs> I love that you're doing it this way around. I really do, Rob. I mean, you're so clever. Are you Are you still doing your podcasts? Um, no, I, I, that, Why I maybe not? That, that's when we lost, but that was about that. Um, I, I'm starting it again in 2023. It's, the thing was is that, um, no, it's 2023. I'm it's 20, yeah, oh, we're in three now. Yeah, it's 24. But but it was you were on every day, weren't you? You were doing a daily podcast. Yeah, the daily podcast, I did that in 2020. And um, I absolutely loved the challenge of just uh, making a piece of work every day. for, And it was a short story or a poem. And uh, yeah, they're all still available online. But yeah, that is coming back in 2024. I'm going to do the daily podcast um, every day in 2024. And uh that is, I love doing that. It's just creativity, really. I'm just kind mm. of trying to test myself and um, try to um, get amongst it. And uh, it's exactly the same up here and um, just the trial and error of um, the creative process. And, uh, yeah, I think that my favourite thing about Edinburgh, though, is that if you have a good or a bad show, then you only have kind of a... a, a a day max to think about it and then you've got another one and then another one and another one and uh yeah it's good it's just like boot camp really <laughs> well listen i hope it goes fantastically well and you're on there obviously till the 26th of august at 225 so in two hours yeah <laughs> yeah so you're in two hours you're preparing, yeah. which I love. I, and have you seen other shows while you're out there? Because because all of my friends and everybody we speak to, they always say they, they do their show, but then they make sure that they see everybody else's shows as well. Yeah, I've seen some good shows. I saw Matt Ewing's show that's really good. But there's, there's absolutely loads. And um, I saw a guy called Tom Ballard who's really good. 
and um, Celia A B. Her show's great, and um, I think it's. I think it. I normally I try to just kind of focus on mine, but this year I really wanted to see as much as I can because it's so inspiring, and I have, have um, a lot of um, ideas for my own shows when I'm watching other people's shows. Of course really, you do. of course you do. And, um, yeah, I saw a John sense. Robin show last night. That's great. And it's just yeah. so nice because you support one another, which I, that's even more so why I think it's so wonderful up there. So if people uh, want to see you, it's uh, roborton.co.uk. Rob, it's always lovely to chat to you and have a great time up there. And thanks so much for speaking to us. And uh, just remember, you're on stage in two hours, Rob. Thank you very much indeed. It's a kind of man. For someone like him And all this time I thought that he was just a friend But not just anybody can touch my body And then he came along and showed me pleasure like I never know You would never know that he's the one But after one conversation You will see where I am coming from His words are so gifted His humor is so wicked And he's a brainiac And he makes me laugh like an aphrodisiac He's got
just stand up so well, those songs, don't they? Absolutely wonderful. Uh, lovely Emma Kennedy is back. It's It's been about 2,000 years since you were last <laughs> on, Emma Kennedy. I know, I keep being busy. Sorry about that. You're allowed to be busy. And it's wonderful to speak to you in real life. Um, now, you're, t- you're back with your book recommendations and your film recommendations. And they I am. always are fantastic. So thank you so much. Have you been well? I've been very, very well. Good. Yes. That's what I love yes. to hear. Okay, so let's start with the first book, please. The Truth About Lies. Yes, uh, by Adja Raiden. So this is a history of lies and famous swindlers that, that decodes why we lie and why we believe things and how, if at all, those two things differ. So, so people are lied to all the time. And everyone will, will, will recognise recognize this, that when you, you're found out that you've been lied to you you can't believe it i think that that's sort of a universal uh, experience but the, you're talking sort of, sorry to interrupt you but you mean big lies as opposed to but, but no big and little lies right. so like you know you you will experience uh, the whole range of lies that go from you know small white ones right up to massive whoppers all the way through your life and every single time at first hearing it you'll believe it and then when you find out it's not true You'll go, well, you know, I can't believe I, I ever believed it. But but the sort of the premise of the books is is why we we ne- we don't question the same when we believe the truth. We, it's it's part of the human condition that we just believe things immediately. So it's a primer about the con artists and, and how lies work and why they work. It's a really interesting book because it sort of untangles what's truth and what's lies, what's belief and what's faith and what's deception and what's propaganda. It's really interesting. Oh, do you know what? So uh, also that links so well to our guest uh, in the final exactly hour. Exactly so. Alistair yes. Petrie, the following yes. events are a pack of lies and it's yes. all about a con man, basically. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, it, I'm fascinated with 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 people who who are con men and and who lie i mean we'll get on to this um when i when we're doing the films later one one of my picks for the film is one of the most fascinating documentaries i've i've ever seen in my life but it but th- there's just something pathological about it that there are people who will go through their life existing on on lies and it's something about all humans that we are naturally trusting and we will always naturally believe people but that's is that not a good thing that we Yes it is yeah it is a good place thing, but we're it, trusting. It, it is a very good thing that humans are trusting but there are people who are all, all, who are always yes. ready to exploit it. Oh there really are. That oh that sounds so good the truth about lies. Thank you very much. Uh, next book please Emma. Oh now this 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 is a story that one day I want to write a film about. So Dr James Barry James Barry was the Inspector General of Hospitals, an army surgeon, a duelist, a reformer, a lady killer, an eccentric. Um, He's famous for having performed the first successful caesarean in the British Empire. He outraged military establishment. He gave Florence Nightingale a proper dressing down. He had a menagerie of animals, but he also, Gabby, many years previously, had been a mother. Because Dr. James Barry was, in fact, Margaret Bulkley, a woman who broke all the rules to become the most respected surgeon of the 19th century. 19th century? Yes, yes. Absolutely amazing story. And the book is called Dr. James Barry, A Woman Ahead of Her Time, and it's by Michael Dupres and Jeremy Drofield. That sounds fascinating. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Why you've got to make this into a into a? I mean, of, co- of course, I've got to make it into a film. Yeah. Oh, Emma, you do find <laughs> it's amazing. The greatest. I actually sort of lost for words because why don't we know that story? It needs to be told. Well, exactly, exactly. Goodness it's just it, absolutely extraordinary. But and and she raised herself. Uh, you know, she came from a very poverty stricken family in in Cork. And just managed to pull it off. She she just one day decided that she was going to, because she wanted to be a doctor, that she was going to pretend to be a man. And that was that. So it was a complete pretense. So we're talking yeah. about the same yeah. thing as before. She was yeah. living a lie. Yeah. Yeah, living a complete lie. Yeah. But what about the, her family and her? You say she was a mother, well, so her she, children. She, she 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 left that all behind in court. <gasps> left it all behind. 
and came to England and became James Barry and persuaded people that she was the nephew of a very famous painter. So she got loads of patronage, then went into the army. Um, she she had to battle uh, people thinking that she was a, a boy rather than uh, rather than a man. Um, uh, but but she did it. She passed all of her surgery exams, everything, and and became became the inspector general of hospitals. Which is just extraordinary, incredible. Yeah, and and the truth was only discovered uh, after she died, and what? the person preparing her body oh. discovered that she was a woman. What an incredible story. Yeah. Dr. James Barry, a woman ahead of her time. Okay, that's yeah. one for the list to get. Wow. Yeah. And finally, the final book. So my final book, you know, I always like to return to a classic. Yes, and you do. I think one of the greatest classics um, that revolves around lying is The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. Absolutely riddled with lies and their repercussions. You know, wives are sold, love affairs are denied, illegitimate children are passed off as 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 above the board offspring. There's hidden debts, there's long lost fathers. It's got the lot. But it is a great cautionary tale about lying because in Casterbridge, all liars pay. And it is a wonderful book. Oh, it's such a great Emma, book. Emma, as always, brilliant books. And we're coming back to you after the, this song uh, for three, again, brilliant, brilliant films. For the moment, though, Emma, go nowhere. This afternoon on the home of London football. Just the Premier League. Brentford against Tottenham on digital radio and TV from 1.30. BBC Radio London Sport. The home.
never get bored of it. Harry Styles and Emma Kennedy has joined us. So she's gone through the books. I'm just going to recommend them again because we've had quite a few messages. Uh, the Truth About Lies, uh, Dr. James Barry, a woman ahead of her time and the mayor of Casterbridge. And films, please, Emma. Yes. So uh, for the films, I wanted to um, pick films where the, the lies start small but have a corrupting or destructive effect. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So uh, my first film is, is a pretty recent one, uh, absolutely fabulous, Parasite. Yes. You will remember this. Yes. yes. Brilliant, brilliant film that's so about clever. greed and class discrimination that begins essentially with a pack of lies. And it's absolutely brilliant. And this is the, only the one, w one of the very few occasions where if I say a single other thing about it, it'll be strewn with spoilers. Yes, so you can't. If you, yes, so if you have not seen Parasite, find it, watch it, thank me later.